right. I got everything except for this, and then I'm gonna go up there at the top, just kind of hit the little twigs. I did see. That's what I thought. <laughs> this is manure, trash, dirt, and sawdust. Our shavings for horses. There's a bunch of horse stables over there. Oops. There's a bunch of horse stables over there. And this is really sandy. It's just really, really nasty sand. I'm going to try to get this cleaned up. And then uh, we'll get everything ready to go finish up that over there. We got this done. Uh, it's pretty good, but there's a lot of sea. Like there's concrete here, a big chunk. So I'm not getting anywhere over here because I don't know where they dumped it at. But let's get this cleaned up. Got a few twigs here and there. And then I gotta take the excavator and go over here and hit them. There's little mounds over next to them trees right there. And then there's another one over there. So that way at least look good. That's that's it for over here. So and this was big mound too. I just kind of slapped it down, made it look good. Alright, so I got the machines over here got the truck over there my hands are numb i just got done using it these dang batteries ain't worth a flip my hands are numb uh so let those warm up a little bit so i was holding this big old uh echo the 590 this thing ain't light uh so the pole saw didn't want to work so i'm gonna have to use i started cu uh, cutting on that one I think the gearing in that right there in the head of the, because everything else is spinning except for the chain. I'm like, awesome, That's something else to fix. But I'm gonna take uh, the excavator and raise my bucket up to a point where I can reach up and just kind of cut them, cut them up, 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 uh, uh, upside. And then I was fixing to cut that one, that little stob there, so, and I was gonna try to trim that pine over there. Awesome. So I'm gonna take the excavator and I got like that one's dead. Uh, there's a few of them I have to rake in between the trees because I can't get in there with the, the head. And then I'm gonna take, cut the rest of these and then rake everything up in a pile. We'll be done with this one after we mulch the bigger stuff. Um, but other than that, we should be ready to mulch and excavate the rest and then we'll start on that lower side so but we got till tomorrow hopefully we should be done tomorrow so by the time i get this done we'll have the rest of the day to start on that one and then do what we need to do but first we're going to get this one cleaned up and raked up that way we can get it done all right didn't record much uh i was sitting here uh earlier got all that stuff cut moved out of the way and uh i was down right in here a red dodge 3500 maybe a 2000 to 2000 or 2001 to 2006 with a white diesel tank come flying up here so i turned mulch this way and then he flipped me off i was about to chase him down in that right there and mulch him up and then uh he took off i don't know who he was I don't know who he was but uh he come flying around over here and he had his phone in his hand luckily mine's messed up i had stomped a mud hole in his ass <clears throat> can't stand that i didn't do nothing <laughs> and then i get uh <clears throat> flipped off that that really pisses me off but anyway we got this done looking pretty good got everything cleaned up looking awesome i'm gonna park my machines i'm gonna go get me some uh, lunch and then i'm also ha also have my phone fixed uh i'm gonna park way over there with both my uh machines but this is what we got and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll start on that lower side i think that's gonna take more than a day but we'll see but these knives definitely need a sharpen they're cutting but they're not cutting like i want them to so you can see but it's lasting a lot longer than the other ones I would have got. Mm. Stick that right there. But we'll let that cool down in a minute. Mm. And we'll go uh, grab some lunch. And then we'll uh, 
come back and start working again. All right, well, nothing is planned out. The uh, skid steer is deader than a doorknob. I forgot to turn the switch off, but I did notice the last time it was cold, the, uh, the machine barely started. I had to have my dad bring me my boost box, but it's so dead. Uh, this one started, it was showing like 18 degrees for the fluids. Got the boost box on this one, but it is like half charged. I think it's supposed to pulse. This one's a pretty good one. You can buy those at, uh, I think it's O'Reilly's. I keep forgetting this one's got the, uh, the, uh, the better disconnect. It's what I should have done. But this right here is a really good one. It's a 2000 amp. I mean, we had a lot of ice. Ice there, ice there. It is cold, it barely started. Or it was going to try to start, but it did some flicker and all the chicken lights and all that come on. It's just when they get low, they start throwing all kinds of codes. Right there. It was 18 a while ago, so it's almost 10 o'clock. I don't think it's got enough juice. Yeah. Waste a day. I come up here. Still 30, 40 minute ride to go get a battery and I don't I got the 250 because I gotta go look at a big job that it's been talked about and on and on for for at least three months. <clears throat> so uh it's a pretty big corporate corporation that wants me to do some clearing and stuff like that. But we had that ice storm for the past two days and the roads is deemed uh, impassable. So uh, I wasn't about to wreck my trucks because now that there's a lot of back roads I had to get to, to to get over here. But it's starting to melt, but it's supposed to get down like 15 degrees, but we're all supposed to have snow, or not snow, uh, uh, rain coming this afternoon. This is what I hate about buying new stuff. It's all, I still got this missing. All that good stuff. Three days wasted. It is wind chill, it's cold. The clouds are rolling in. I was hoping to get some work done. But it's not looking like I had a drink. Big old ice. This looks pretty good. We uh, Let me show you that dinner actually started after that guy flipped me off. Uh, they come up and was doing, <laughs> doing burnouts, going out that way and coming around and flipped me off again. But we ended up finding who, that, who it was, so. But anyway, I'll show you that down there. I did get about almost half of it done. So I'm gonna double check all this stuff, check everything. I got uh, zip ties holding certain ways and, and I kind of cut them just a little bit. That way nobody would mess with my stuff since anybody can just go buy a cat key and uh, take your vehicles or uh, machines. But anyway, while I'm sitting here freezing, we'll run over there and uh, after I check the machines one more time. Ow. Yeah, that's, I had icicles everywhere. It's freaking freezing. But I did do a little bit of work. I've got, I was gonna, my plan was to come up here and get these grinded down a little bit. There's a bunch of hardwoods over there. Uh, so the key, everything's locked. And I'm trying to check, make sure I didn't leave nothing out. Everything's locked, but you can get in here. All right, so this is what the little small area we have left. I got this, most of this done in two hours. Um, can't see much back there. I wish I'd have got a good upfront 
it was a lot of dead stuff and you can see like all this uh the stuff around the trees and stuff i just kind of went in and knocked it down and the creek has got a pretty good amount of stuff that's grown around it and i'm gonna have to get the best i can uh pull it with a bucket and stuff you can kind of see it looks pretty clean you can see it way back there back there and stuff like that within two hours i should have it done in a day ripping up all this you know the vines and the stuff like that around the trees trimming everything up higher but it's a lot a lot nicer than what i had started with so but I trimmed out a lot of trees so that way he can come in with his bush hog and make it more manageable. So, but we'll have to do that tomorrow. So it's just so cold, everything's dead in a doorknob. So we'll just get it later. All right, we're back out here trying to get this done. It's nice and cold. They said we're supposed to have sleet, uh, and there's going to be another ice storm again, but. The weather people can't get it right so uh got both of these running i got this fully charged and it started it right up uh so we're gonna let these warm up it's it's got a nice cold wind chill so uh we'll let these warm up all the ice is melted off the the pins and all the good stuff so that way i don't damage nothing so we should be done today with that spot down there so we should be getting going I have to do a lot of uh chainsawing since the pole saw decided to break so nice cold wind we're gonna go ahead and get the uh chainsaw warmed up and uh fueled up and stuff like that so we we just gotta gotta get to cutting and going that's part of it's so cold the gopro uh just cut off but uh got some i i don't like this is like 30 dollars for this but i forgot my gas can i bought all right we get we get started got the knives sharpened up they weren't doing too good the last time i was over here launching and it's nice and uh frozen in some spot so it, i think it's a lot easier to mulch when it's frozen
so I'm getting close to my time. So I still got a lot to excavate and clean up a little bit. And uh, stuff like this, you know, it's overhanging, cut it down, and then we got little hairs or twigs beside. I mean, it don't look good, but <clears throat> chainsaw a little quick here in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this light side and then work my way left and then work my way up this way. So still got some pretty good spots to, to mulch up. So we'll just have to get it going pretty quickly and uh, get it mulched up so what we can't get done. So since we got an awesome cold wind chill, I didn't do much. Uh, I probably did about 20 minutes of sawing. All right, so this one didn't clean up as, as good as I wanted, but it, it cleaned up pretty good. Uh, just because of the creek, uh, I wasn't able to get behind that and the vines. I got over here, 
we're we're way over time but at least i know this got taken care of i got a few spots to hit over here and then cut a little bit more but i also forgot about it. i put my lunch on the engine That's probably been in there for probably about, see, I put it in there probably about one or two. It's almost four now. So it's been in there for a good, good bit. I figured it'd be nice and warm, so I guess we'll find out. So I got some little scragglers here. I got a few spots over here. Uh, I got a few things to cut off the side right here and there. I got some to cut right here. We'll go get the excavator. I had some stuff right here. I forgot to, I was gonna wait till it warmed up, but it ain't warmed up today. So we're gonna go get the excavator, bring it over here. I gotta get a tree out of the ditch over there. So uh, that way I can mulch it up. And then uh, I'll have all this done and I can load up. So let's go grab it and let's go. This thing's a big boy right here. So I guess it fell over and then it, it grew up that way. We got all this over here done. I threw some more chunks over here. Um, we'll take this tree and then this one right here. And then we'll just cut them and then lay, lay them over and then just throw them over here and mulch them. That'll be it for this. So let's get this cut and then we'll uh, get at it. sunset so we can see what we got here always a piece just laying there clean this embankment out a little bit it's pretty rough it's just a bunch of wash off and rip wraps all down in there got people staring I got a few twigs here and there to clean up that's it we uh got a few more twigs here and there but we'll get loaded up and uh didn't really show much of this one because this uh magnetic holder is about gone uh no that it was just going around the trees a billion times felt like uh i don't know but I got new knives on the way for this one and carbides. It's still got a good vibration, but I think once I had those new knives on it, it was all right. But I think it was because I've got two different brands, so they do calibrate theirs together. So this is what we got. We got this one done. We got that one over there, and then we got the one over there next to the stalls done. They're pretty happy, but that one over there, and then there's one way down there uh, I guess since it being a several days, then they'll probably just wait because they got a big event coming up. It's called the Bull Bash for rodeo and stuff like that. So I think they're gonna wait. But this is what we got. This is it. This is the end of it. Um, got the machines over here. Got everything trimmed up, cleaned up. Uh, got that far side and then i got the other side of the creek i'm gonna get the uh, leaf blower and blow the stuff off that's one thing you got to do to make yourself look even better when you're done with the job so you leave all this stuff right here this is a big business that can bring you a lot of uh, a lot of business as well so you actually got to take care of these customers but also it's common sense to clean up after yourself so the only spot i wasn't able to get to was this low spot right here 
I started sliding up there just because all the the rain that we had so I wasn't able to get to it I wouldn't about to go out there and uh, and try to get that because I can't get to it with the machines I could sit there and spend another 30 minutes with a chainsaw but if I had my pole saw with a zinger on it I could have done done pretty good so that's what we got cleaned up the creek and as well clean uh clean some of the rocks out of it and all the junk out of it so we did what we could to, to help make the flow of the creek a lot better but i do believe there's a, a beaver somewhere on this side or somewhere on the other side not sure there's a pond over here so but this is the other spot that's probably the same size as that one over there uh we might be able to to get but <clears throat> this is what we got done in two days of on the job so if you could like and subscribe see you on the next one